I will show you first this simple circuit with relay. Now we have a simple relay now I will show you how to troubleshoot different problem of a circuit with relay. Now short circuit occurs, because number 87 wire shorted to ground, that's why when the switch turned on the fuse blown out, now I will teach you how to diagnose in this scenario. We need a test light for this procedure. Check the fuse using the test light, test the both ends of fuse, it's supposed to be both ends have positive supply, if the other one doesn't have a power it means fuse is blown out. Now find the cause why the fuse is blown out. The first way to do is to look what is the designated load that fuse working for. Example the fuse is for fog light, horn or other component. Now if you know what load for that fuse. Disconnect the socket of that load. In this relay circuit fuse is for our light so I will disconnect the wirings of the light. After that disconnect the relay for its socket, and use test light, put the clip of the test light to 12 volt positive supply, check number 30 and 85 first, if the test light does not light up it means number 30 and 85 wirings is good and nothing short to ground. After you check wirings of number 30 and 85, check the wirings of number 87, use the test light put the clip to 12 volt positive supply. Check number 87, if the test light is light up it means number 87 is the cause of short circuit. Trace the number 87 wire and find the location of short circuit or replace the wire if needed. After you repair the wirings, replace new fuse and connect the relay to its socket and the light socket, turn on the light. Problem number 2. Faulty relay. First thing to do is to disconnect relay to its socket. Turn on the switch, use a test light, put the clip to positive supply, test the number 86 if the test light lights up it means the switch is ok. After you check the number 86 check number 85 and number 30 of the relay. Use a test light put the clip to ground, if the test light lights up to number 30 and 85 it means there's a positive supply. Now install the relay to its socket, after you install relay check the number 87 of the relay, use a test light put the clip to ground and check number 87 wire if the, the test light don't light up it means the relay is faulty. Replace the relay, install the new relay to socket, after you install the new relay turn on the switch if the light lights up it means the old relay is the only problem. And that's for today's video, I hope this video helps you a lot and don't forget to like and subscribe, God bless you all.